this is Bob Wetterman and today I'm going to go through the differences between the IPC A610 and the IPC J Standard 001. The IPC A610 is the acceptability of electronic assemblies. Think of it as a document that's been agreed upon by industry with the acceptability requirements, that is the minimum requirements, defect conditions, process indicators, uh, and acceptability criteria for a variety of different soldering, board, assembly criteria. Think of it as a way as a referee guide for what is acceptable and what is not acceptable in electronic assemblies. It's really that document that both the uh, contractor and the builder of the assembly can agree upon so that at the end of the day the requirements in the industry are met and what is an acceptable versus a defective solder joint and electronic assembly can be agreed upon. So that's the IPC A610. It's the visual requirements for an electronic assembly. The IPC J standard requirements for electrical and electronic assemblies has to do with the method by which the assembly is manufactured. What kind of fluxes to use, what kind of solders to use, how the assembly process should take place. It's for through-hole devices, surface mount devices, uh, for coatings, for wires, for terminals, and the like. So it's how the board is assembled and what requirements of the assembler need to exist for all of the three IPC classes. So we have on one hand the IPC A610, which is the quality and acceptance document how the assembly should look after it's made, as well as on the other hand, the J standard 001, which tells us how the product should be manufactured. So this is Bob Wetterman from Best telling you what the difference between the 610 and the J standard 001 looks like.